In a previous video, I showed you how to create a health controller. In this video, I want to show you how you can easily animate your health UI. If you watched the earlier video, I just used TextureX to show the health UI. For this video, I'm going to delete these. So in my health UI, I just have a control node. It has an anchor preset of top left. So in here, I'm going to add a box container. And I'm just going to rename this to container. I'll leave a link in the description to the assets that I'm using. The current assets I'm using, the hearts need to be scaled down. So I'm going to select my box container and I'm going to scale it to 0.25. And then in my box container, I'm going to add an H box. And I'm going to call this hearts. Next, I'm going to create a new scene. It's going to be a texture progress bar. I'm going to rename mine to heart UI. For the fill mode, I'm going to select counterclockwise. Next, let's go down to textures, and then I'm going to come to my file system here. I'm going to use this empty health for the under, and then for the progress, I'm going to use the full health. For max value, I'm going to set it to 1, and then for the steps, I'm going to set it to 0.25. So essentially, we'll be adding and losing health in quarter of hearts. And that's all we need to do here so we can save this scene. I'm going to save mine in health, scenes, and heart UI scene. Here in our heart UI script, we have a reference to our heart container, which is this node right here. And then we are preloading our heart scene, which is the heart UI scene that we created with the texture progress bar. We have getters and setters for max hearts and the hearts we currently have. And then we are creating a placeholder variable for our previous health. In our ready function, we're just connecting to some signals that we created in our previous health controller video, and we're admitting to the player that the health UI is ready. The only thing to note in the health controller is if you're using signals like I did in my previous health controller video, you want to make sure that you're emitting the max health changed before you're emitting the health changed. The reason for this is we need to create the size of our health bar before we can populate how much health we have. Most of the logic is happening in our hearts setter in set hearts. We're going to clear the health bar every time the health changes. We're going to add in our health bar. We're going to populate it with what the previous health was, and then we're going to animate to what the current health is. And then at the end, we're going to set the previous health to the current health. Get hearts just returns the hearts. Set max hearts just sets the max heart value. And then get hearts returns the max hearts. The on event health changed and the on event max health changed are just from the health controller when we emit these signals. In our health UI, it is catching that and updating the max heart and the heart variables for the health UI scene. The clear health bar is just emptying out our hearts container each time it's called. We're going to loop through all the children in the hearts container. We're going to get a reference to the first one. We're going to remove the child from the scene. And then we're going to call QFree to remove the child from memory. Add empty hearts is just repopulating our hearts container. So we're going to pass in the max hearts that the player has. And then we're going to instantiate a heart UI. If you remember, we're preloading this scene. And that's this scene right here that we're preloading. We're going to populate our hearts container with this. And then we're just going to add that new scene back into the heart container. So essentially, every time our hearts change, we're going to clear out our heart container, and then we're going to repopulate in the empty hearts. And then build health bar is going to repopulate our hearts with the amount that we still have. We're going to get a reference to all the children in our hearts container. We're going to validate that there are children. The value that's passed is the health the player currently has. We're going to assign that to heart pieces. We're going to loop through all the children in our heart container, keeping a reference of our loop number with I. We're going to get the reference to the child, and then we're going to use the heart pieces variable to keep track of the life. When first repopulating the hearts, we don't want to animate the initial load. So if we come back up to our set hearts, we're calling build health bar twice. The first time, we're going to populate it with what the previous health was, and we're going to pass in true as the initial load. We don't want to animate this. The second time we call it, we're going to animate from what the previous was to what the current is. So we pass false this time because this time we want to animate. So we're going to check that if we take one away from heart pieces, it is either equal to zero or still greater than zero, which means we have a full heart. Again, on initial, we're not going to animate it. Otherwise, we're going to create a tween to animate it. So first, we create the tween, and then we're going to call tween property on the child, which is the heart UI of this loop that we're grabbing here. We want to tween the value property of the health UI. So if we go into health UI, this value right here is what we're going to tween. In this if, we have a full heart. We want to fully populate it, so we're setting it to one. 
If you remember in the heart UI, we're keeping track in quarters and a full heart is one. And then the last variable is the time that we want it to take. So we're passing in 0.2 seconds. You can obviously adjust that to what feels and looks right to you. When creating a tween, we can set a transition type that we want. I'll leave a link in the description to the docs on all the options for this, but I'm not gonna go over those here. But for this example, I just chose translinear. I set a delay of 0.3 seconds, which again, you can take this off or adjust this to what you want. And then lastly, I'm removing one from the heart piece value. This heart piece variable we're using to keep track of how many hearts we have left to fill. So coming in the loop, we just finished this part, which tells us we have a full heart to give. So it'll do this section over and over until we have less than one heart to fill, which comes to the next part. So this next part is we still have hearts to fill, but it won't fill a full heart, so it's only a partial fill. So just like before, on the initial, we're not going to animate it, but the second time we will. We're doing the same thing as before. We're creating the tween, and then we're tweening the value property. The only difference this time is instead of setting one, we're going to pass in the heart pieces. Because if it gets to this point, all that's left is less than a heart. So in our example, it could be anything between 0 0.1 and 0.99. This last else is a catch. It's very similar to what we've done before. On the initial, we're not going to animate it, and we're going to animate it the second time. The reason we need to have this here is, for example, say you have three and a half hearts. On the initial load, it's going to be three and a half, but then on the updated load, it's going to be three hearts. So based on the logic here, it would run this three times and then nothing else. So then you'd be stuck with the last half heart that's still on the fourth heart. We put this here because it'll animate away that half heart. So let's go ahead and see how this looks when we run it. You can see right on load, it animates in the hearts the first time. So I'll close that and do that again. So I put this here, this is gonna give us a half a damage. These silver hearts are gonna give us half a heart. And then over here, when we get to them, these gold hearts are gonna fully heal us and give us a new heart. So let's start by going and getting damaged. So we lost half a heart, we lost a full heart. So now let's come here and we get half a heart, we get a full heart, we get half a heart again. So this next one that's gold is gonna give us a whole new heart and heal us. And you can see how it animates in nicely. So let's go get hurt a couple times. And you can see if we come here and get this, it adds an extra heart and fully heals us. Well, I suppose.